Hello and welcome back to the farm. Uh, it is, uh, well, summer has finally started to blossom. Uh, but uh, we have got more work to do with the animals. So we're going to be doing some straw this morning. Uh, I need to get, uh, basically, we're, we're, we're all right for feed and we're all right for water and everything. But we're using the 6R here and uh, and we're going to just hook this up and uh, and get this to uh, over here and uh, and get ourselves some straw. We've still got the 6M kicking around as well. You can probably see it sitting in the shed there. So we're going to be using that to uh, to load up the straw into this. Uh, so I want to get my ramp up first and uh, and get that doing so that we can uh, get this all going uh, and just just makes it easier for us to load everything in and then over that way there I don't know if you can see it we got something delivered this morning to try out which is going to be absolutely amazing um, I've decided that fields uh, 29 and 30 uh, we're going to to get rid of the grass we we actually have too much grass for us uh for what we need to do on the farm so uh yeah we're gonna get rid of uh we're gonna sort those out and uh and move those on and put corn in there we still have some time to put some corn in so uh, we're looking to do that if i can just get this close enough to my loading ramp that would be good I don't have to use the loading ramp for this uh, with the with the 6M, but uh, it's so much better if we do. There we go. That should do it. Yeah, there we go. So go ahead, grab the 6M. We want to put the. Uh, we need to go and put a bale spike on this. So we'll start her up. And away we go. And this is still a cracky little tra tractor. We've had it uh, a while now. Um, the uh, 7840 uh, is due back soon. So yeah, 7740 is due back soon. So we're going to be... Uh, it's not a 7740, it's a 4240. What am I on about? I'm talking about it like it's some uh, New Holland thing from a few years ago. No, our, uh, our 4240 is due back soon. Uh, so, uh, yeah, this 6M will have to be given back then. Uh, unless we hang around with it. But, uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm still on two minds about whether to uh, to hang on to this tractor. Or, or see if we can uh, buy one. Maybe not necessarily this one, because this, this one is a rental. But certainly this 6M. I am liking the new 6M. It's uh, it's very very nice, uh, and uh, and as a result, it's just doing us, yeah, it's just absolutely wonderful for us. But uh, as I said, it, is it a uh, hundred thousand dollars worth of wonderful for us? Uh, is the big question I've got, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure we need to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a new tractor right now. Let's see if we can. I do like the visibility on it, though. Compared to our uh, 4240, this has so much more visibility uh, for the front loader. Uh, and it is such an easier task to get this to work. Especially when we're coming up onto the ramp and things like this. Loading with this is, is absolutely wonderful. So very, very nice. Look at that. Just slots in there perfectly. Yeah, great little track to this. Uh, I'm loving the 6 it's, it's that drop-nosed front. just makes everything so much easier to run. And, uh, and with the new... Uh, so that's... Yeah. With the new stuff coming out from John Deere, it's... It's not a bad time for us to upgrade our fleet. Uh... My, my trouble is that I've got a lot of nostalgia with some of these tractors. I mean, that's why we still have that one sitting in that shed there. Uh, that absolute classic. Right, and uh, and you see we need to clear out the... Uh, the K 
cows as well. So, uh, right, I get these emptied into here. And that should give us a good amount for our cows to have a play around with. And there we go. That is uh, the straw all done. So we'll go put this back. And, uh, and yeah, this, the 6R and the 6M are working very nicely together on here. So it is a, it is really a question now I've got is do I sell the 4240 and uh, and and upgrade because we can't we we can't afford to to upgrade to that uh, to that six uh, that six M and uh, keep the 4240 kicking around. Uh, it would have to be it would have to be a moving on of that other tractor. So yeah, as lovely as it is and as classic as that tractor is. Be very careful where I park in here, otherwise it gets a bit difficult to get out and, uh, and do this. Um, it is a case of yeah, do we uh, do we keep it or do we send everything on? Uh, and uh, I'm uh, I'm in two minds to be honest. Uh, but with this done, we need to get uh, I actually need to get the six M out of the way. Uh, and then we can go and get the skid steer up and do the job with that that needs doing. Oh, let's turn this off. We're not going to be using this uh, the six R again today. Now, one one possibility actually is for us to um, to sell the skid steer. We could get rid of this little skid steer with the drop nose on this and the, the smallest of the 6M. That's not a bad shout. Um, and that way we could afford the 6M, use it around the yard as our yard tractor. Uh, and uh, and the 4240 wouldn't be so necessary. It might not even be necessary to sell it. That, uh, that skid steer is not that. That uh, was not... Well, it might cover most of the cost of this, uh, of this 6R. And would probably be a better setup for us. We, yeah. Uh, as nice as this little uh, little skid steer is, and as bad as might have been bad mouthing uh, New Holland on here, uh, I think we're uh, I think we're in a better position actually to uh, to do well with this skid steer. Uh, to to do well with uh, losing the skid steer with the with the the six M. Uh, we don't really need it, to be honest. So I think it's going to be a little bit of a move around with our equipment around here. I think we're gonna we're gonna find that it's going to be better for us to move on some of our equipment, uh, rearrange the farm a little bit, become a little bit more uh, efficient with what we've got around here. Uh, and yeah, that does mean. Getting rid of the skid steer, I think. This, as always, goes into our storage. So we're going to plonk that into there. Um, and then I'm going to take the truck out. And we're going to head out to the field. Uh, other end of field 29. And uh, and we have a new toy to play with. This is a toy that we're not keeping. Um, John Deere have sent something over to me to have a play around with. If you've seen the, uh, the thumbnail for this vlog... Uh, then you know what it is already. Um, we are uh, we are going to have some fun today, though, because we've been sent something to try out um, for the season. Actually, we've been we've been sent it for sort of uh, until the end of the year uh, to to try out. So it's going to be here for a while, but uh, it's uh, it's got something on it that may replace this in the long run. Uh, and as much as I love my old uh, square plow here, what we've got on the back of this could could sort of just speed things up no end as far as sorting our fields out. Um, we're going to increase our, as I said, we're going to increase our corn uh, this year. Hopefully uh, the weather won't be too nasty to us. So we'll jump in our truck and we're going to head out to field 29. See if, uh, and we can have a look at this wonderful bit of kit that we've been sent. Can be quite tight to get around this corner. There we go. Make sure nothing's coming across the road. No. And there you can see it in the distance. Looks like your average John Deere from this distance, doesn't it? 
but it's not. It's got tracks. Yep, this is a John Deere 8RX. Um, they've been, we've been sent it directly by John Deere. They have uh, they have uh, asked us to give it a try out on here. And we've got a we've got a ripper on the back. Uh, it's got a bit more horsepower than this uh, this 26 23 uh, John Deere ripper requires, um, but. Uh, we're going to try it out. So this is this will act as a plow as well. So I'll actually, the thing the thing that I might keep after this year is this. We've got uh, the eight R. Uh, sorry, the eight RX is a little bit expensive for me to keep at the moment. Um, it's uh, yeah, it's a three hundred and I think it's an eight three hundred eighty thousand dollar track to this. Um, whereas this is this is about a hundred thousand for this ripper. Uh, uh, which is much more used to us. So, uh, yeah, we are jump in. And, uh, yeah, let's start her up. Oh, beautiful sound on this. Now, I've, uh, I've already set up a GPS course for it. So, yeah, let's... Ah, uh, had set up a GPS course. I've reset it. So, let's, uh start this we'll lower it down like so and I want to make sure I'm on the best course I can be there we go like so and you can see that is just making such short work of that and there we are now look at that uh, compared to our plow this is about twice the width of our plow of our of our square set of plow and what it's going to do is this is going to allow us to do the full field here so that gap that we previously had that exists, you can see here the change in the soil. Um, this is going to completely change that. We're going to square off the field here and, uh, and just create this absolutely uh, brilliantly large field uh, for going forward. The only thing at this time of year we can really plant, as I said, though, is, um, is corn. So uh, we can't do anything more than that. We're going to do alternate rows with this. So like this. And we'll get that straight. And once we're straight, we can back up a bit. And drop it back down. And away we go. And it just is creating some beautiful land for us to work but as I said, we got so we got two fields of grass over that way, which are more than enough for us uh, to do the uh, grass work that we want to do, um, and uh, make sure that we've got enough uh, bales of, of hay and silage and, and everything. So uh, this field we're going to put down to corn and uh, and get this harvested. I'm I'm two minds at the moment actually. Uh, we could put this to corn, or we could put this to uh, soybeans. Uh, both of them we have enough time to plant uh, before uh, before we, we shouldn't really be planting anything. So yeah, I don't know which of those I'm going to be doing uh, but we will see uh, we will see where we go. We'll see how we do. Uh, down again and away we go again. Uh, but this, uh, yeah, this is going to make short work of this field. So uh, I think, yeah, let's 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 go through this. I'm going to give this a try out, and, uh, and I'll give my verdict on this tractor once we um, once we get done. For the moment, it's doing very very nice work. So we're most of the way back across the field now, and I'm I'm impressed. This uh, these two pieces of kit together have handled this field really well. Field 30 uh, historically has been um, has been grassed simply because, and you might be able to see it from here, uh, it's it's really quite a bumpy field. It's really uneven. Field 29 is a lot better. Uh, it's a, a lot fa flatter. But at the time, we needed a large grass field uh, in order to, to get what we needed. Um, 
as I said, these two have, uh, have now n are no longer suitable for that purpose, uh, and uh, or no longer needed for that purpose. They're still very suitable for it, um, but as a result, we we not need for this anymore. But field 30 always worried me um, because it's unevenness basically makes it harder for us to 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 plow, to seed, to to basically work in general. Uh, and um, and I'm, I'm pleased to see that this that this piece of kit has actually handled the field really, really well. Uh, the unevenness to it has has not presented a problem for it. Older kit we definitely had an issue with. Um, because uh, there's a couple of uh, sort of raises and lowers and things that, that you know they can't handle but this is this has worked a treat this has worked absolutely brilliantly and uh, and done the job that we wanted it to do which is great uh, it'll be interesting to see this tractor on a uh, cedar we've got a slightly wider spacing we've got the uh, 120 uh, wide tracks on this and uh, and that is going to make a difference uh, for our seeding stuff. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, as I said, I don't know whether I'm going to put corn or soybeans in here. I'd like to know actually what you guys think about that. Uh, whether you think that we should put corn or soybeans in here. Soybeans do grow this far north. They're uh, they are uh, they are a good staple crop around here. Trying to think if we, I'm not sure we've actually got any in. I think we got we uh, no. We our rotation doesn't normally include soybeans. Uh, we have uh, canola instead. But um, yeah, interesting. I think uh, as an experimental crop to have up here, uh, and we'll see how it goes. Now this is the last row here, so we're uh, we're going to do the headlands next. And, uh, and just drive around those. I don't know if I don't know if I've given myself too much or too little uh, space on the headlands, but we'll see. I think the top end of the I think this bottom end of the field I've given myself enough. Uh, I think we're um, we're good down here. I think it's the top end of the field where we're going to find we have twice as much uh, to do. So I'm going to do two headlands up there, but down here, yeah, down here it seems to be okay. So we're going to back right up and we're going to go over that because we've got the V at the back with this. And then down. And then away and try and track it along the edge. And hopefully we're going to get it all. Not, I'll have to come back and gra and fix. Oh, we've got a couple of tufts in the field by the look, uh, looks of it. But otherwise we seem to be okay. Running along the edge. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We've got a, we've got a little bit. I'm going to have to come back and uh, and fix. And pull that around the corner. Perfect. That should do us. Yep. So lift it up and we'll head back down this way. And we might as well uh, we'll give it another go over just to make sure that we get these bits that are in. There we go. And that will then cover us uh, for everything down here. Get rid of any uh, grass that we don't want hanging around this field. And then we can go up to the top end of the field and get that completed as well. And, uh, and yeah, have a really, really good setup on here. And this, and this uh, 8RX, very nice tractor lovely and comfortable I mean again uneven top end of the field did not feel it at all just absolutely lovely ride uh, on this and uh, and yeah smooth as butter ride from this tractor which uh, is uh, is quite nice especially uh, going back to a tractor I was talking about earlier uh, in this vlog the uh, the 7840 yeah, that is not a ride smooth as butter. Uh, sorry, 4240. Why do I call, keep calling it a 7840 today? Um, it's, uh, yeah, that is that is not smooth as butter. That is a bumpy, bumpy, bumpy uh, ride in that tractor. Uh, and again, the 6M oh, would be so much nicer to have that. 
uh, kicking around. Um, I think I'm going to have to go and, uh, as speaking to you guys today, I think I'm going to have to go and uh, and have a look at my um, my finances, see if we can uh, see if we can jiggle things around a bit. We're never going to be able to jiggle things around a bit enough to get this tractor. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna have fun with this while we have it. Uh, the seven R is very nice. We've got. Uh, and we're going to keep that. We can't afford a uh, yeah. We can't afford a 2027 R either. That would be nice. But we have just bought our secondhand 7 R, so we'll uh, we'll keep that one going for now. That will uh, that will do us very nicely. Um, but this 8 RX, wow, this is a piece of kit. This really is absolutely gorgeous. And it has done this field. We are done for here. And, uh, and yeah, this, this Ripper, again, a really nice piece of kit. I think that is something that, that we're probably going to have to add to the farm. We'll, uh, we're will we going to have these two, as I said, we're going to have these two bits of kit uh, on the farm for uh, at least this, uh, this season. Uh, and so when we've, uh, when we've done all our harvest at the end of the year, we'll get these out and we'll have a go with these again. Uh, but uh, we're going to use some. We're going to do some seeding with this 8RX uh, next time, I think. Uh, whatever we put in here, we'll seed with this to to see how this works as a seeding tractor. But all in all, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous bit of kit. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying it out a little more around here. Uh, for now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this vlog. Please give it a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. And for all the latest videos from the farm, please subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. And I will see you next time. Goodbye.